Just what exactly is this thing? And more importantly, do you need one on your desk? Let's find out. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about these devices that sit on your desk and do all kinds of neat things. But what exactly do you call them and do you need one? We're going to look at the Stream Deck from Elgato. Before we get started though, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. Okay, so what exactly are these things? They're mainly for gamers and content creators who stream online. If you're a gamer, you might use one for something like Flight Simulator, or if you're a creator, you might use one for uh, something like video editing or photography. Something like this will give you quick access to common functions or macros but they are becoming more popular as a productivity tool as well. Referred to as a studio controller or a USB wired keyboard, they come in different sizes and have push buttons that trigger different actions. Picture something like a compact studio mixing board on your desk, but instead of it being an actual mixing board, these buttons can trigger applications or multiple actions that you program and they have an LCD screen or little display inside the button. Sometimes the button can even be an animated GIF. Elgato is the leader in this market. They're a company that makes products geared towards creators, everything from lights to webcams to what they call the Stream Deck. Today we're gonna to talk about the Stream Deck MK2 and the XL. I've had a Stream Deck MK2 on my desk for a couple of years now and I love it. This is a 15 key Stream Deck and there's also a Stream Deck XL that has 32 keys. Now you're not limited to just 15 or 32 keys because you can have multiple pages of keys. You can program just about anything on these keys, launch apps, plugins, pull info like weather or stocks, and you can program multiple actions on a button press. There is a store where you can download free plugins, icons, and more at Elgato, or you can create your own buttons. Because the Stream Deck has been around for a while, there's a lot of software available, and if you're running Windows, it seems like there's even more of a selection. Another thing Elgato offers is a mobile app. It's pretty cool. You can run a Stream Deck on your phone with six keys for free. You can add more, but you have to pay for those extra keys. It might be a nice way to try it out and see if you want an actual Stream Deck on your desk first. This is the Stream Deck app that you can install on Windows or Mac. And this is how you program the buttons on the Stream Deck. So you'll see I've got uh, buttons programmed here. And it's really easy to program these. On the right hand side are plugins and um, options that you have for each button. And you just drag whatever you're looking for over to an available button. So if I wanted to program, say, an analog clock on one of these blank buttons, I just drag it over. And it's as simple as that. The button will show there. You have multiple pages of buttons that you can program and you can do multiple actions as well. So uh, there's this brown uh, row of buttons and to the left there's a multi-action button. If I click on the two actions, I can see which two actions are triggering with the press of this button. So you could do something like turn off music and set lights to a certain level, maybe turn on your camera, open a URL, um, you can add all those into the action and then when you press the button all of those actions will trigger So it's really easy to set something like that up as well and then you can program your Settings and profiles here under preferences So this one that says bear every time I open the bear app it's going to go to this profile and that profile might have something like formatting options for different headers and tables. And this comes in really handy when you're using something like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro, because you could have a whole layout of buttons that are specific to that app you're using. And then when you go back um, out of that app, you can go back to the default profile of your normal buttons that you use. There's also a store available where you can get all of your apps and plugins and icons that you want to use and uh, it's really easy to install those. They changed it up a little bit. You actually sign in now and then you add things to your cart and, and that'll install them. But these are all the plugins available and then when you first go to Stream Deck on the left hand side you'll see 
options for plugins and icons and different profiles. If you go, for example, to profiles, you can see ones that uh, people have created. Some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for um, because they're from third parties. Uh, but you'll see one for Flight Simulator, one for Notion, that one costs $5. Um, and, and you can replicate these as well. If you, uh, they do have an SDK, so you can kind of create these on your own if you'd like, or you can use ones that are available here. Um, so those are the profiles and then plugins are here as well. So you have all these different plugins you can go through. The nice thing about Elgato is that um, they've been around for a while, so there are a ton of plug plugins out there and available to use. If you're looking to add to your productivity and pick up one of these, I would go for the Stream Deck XL over the MK2 if you have the desk space. It's nice to just have all your buttons laid out there instead of limiting the number of buttons at your fingertips with something like the MK2. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have one of these on your desk now? Do you feel like you could be more productive if you did? I'd love to know. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.